It's raining and I'm anxious, but we're going to Spain today. I was worried about missing the train that was supposed to take us to the airport. Ran late, but not like a little late. It was like 45 minutes to an hour late. As our time in Italy was coming to a close, we had perfect timing because we missed all the rain that was coming. We're in Spain. Navigating to our Airbnb wasn't very difficult. It was once we were there that we ran into an issue. We're killing time until our host gets to the Airbnb. He like randomly changed the time. I looked at the listing and it turned out he didn't change the time so much as he covered himself by saying that check-in was after three. I will be planning to Airbnb about this. We're finally in the Airbnb. I'm like super winded because I accidentally booked us an Airbnb on the fifth floor. But it's actually the sixth because you know they don't count the first floor. It actually wasn't my fault because I looked at the listing afterwards and he didn't publicize that it was on the fifth floor. So his bad. After we spent some time resting, we were then trekked out to go find some food. We came to this place to get Mexican food even though we're in Spain. But apparently it has a Michelin star. My mother asked for a suggestion from the host of a Mexican restaurant and he sent us this place. So it turns out that it had that Michelin star and it was super delicious. And of course, a little costly, but worth it. I totally forgot we actually had eaten before the Mexican restaurant. We found some place and they sold fries with just like various uh, toppings and they were so delicious. We went like three times while we were there. And then we were exhausted from all the travel so we headed back to our Airbnb. And these are the scenes on the way back and ready for that five flight trek. This was the next day in Spain, and Spain was much more calm. It was a tad much, so I did edit it down. After that past week of being in Italy, my mother was so gung-ho about going to McDonald's, trying to replicate the kind of coffee that she would get here in the US. I highly recommend you not get the omelet sandwich, which is what I got, and it was no McGriddle. Walking around, we encountered this Christopher Columbus statue, which we have mixed emotions about because otherwise I'd be speaking a different language. Although I guess I don't speak Spanish, so I digress. At some point, I realized that we were dangerously close to the beach, so we decided to head to the beach. It was colder, so I was not going to get in. Plus, I am still in my winter body. I've yet to shed that skin but it was still pleasant to see the coast and the Mediterranean or Atlantic, whatever. It was around this time that I realized that the wind muff from my camera was probably misplaced at some point in Italy. And so there's a lot of wind noise. We ended up purchasing a 30 day pass because it was the best value for our money. It ended up being like 30 euros for like 30 days. And then we headed to the Picasso museum. There was a lot of plans that we had to alter here, which was fine because we had plenty of time here in Spain and we felt less rushed. So we went to the Picasso Museum after walking around for a while and I was attempting to find a Lueve store. The place on Apple Maps that showed up that was near us turned out not to be a Lueve store. Eventually, we did find one and it was actually pretty close to where we were staying. It was at this point in our sojourn that we decided that we were going to treat ourselves. Do we need another bag? I didn't record any footage while we were in the store because I thought I would be tacky, but I ended up buying a very expensive bag, but it was basically on sale because I didn't have to pay extra because of the import and taxes. So, yay. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.